So I have been working as a molecular microbial ecologist now for a number of years and uh, so my lab works on a few different uh, topics and one of them is uh, trying to understand microbial diversity in the environment and trying to develop and apply novel techniques to characterize that diversity and understand why it's there. Uh, I'm also interested in linking the function uh, of organisms that we discover in the environment with their identities to figure out who is doing what and focus on carbon metabolism for that largely. And the third focus of my lab is on nitrogen cycling in the environment, mostly in aquatic environments. Since I began doing research as a PhD student, I've been very interested in developing techniques to analyze microbial communities. And it was more difficult prior to the advent of next generation sequencing. And now with those novel sequencing based approaches, it makes um, research in microbial diversity more affordable, more efficient. And uh, so these types of advances in the technology for collecting DNA sequences from the environment have made research in my lab uh, a lot more effective. And so that's really what has led my lab more deeply into metagenomics, some of these advances. And so I, what I think is a, a major limitation at the moment is a couple of things. One is that the technology, the technologies that we will use to collect data from the environment are changing very rapidly. So it's hard to have any form of standardization. So that's one issue. And the other one is that the data sets that we generate are, are quite large. And there are also some issues with the data that to do with quality, for example. So we get a lot of quantity, and sometimes quality is an issue. Um, and then at the end of the day, even the methods that are, we use, bioinformatic-based methods, computational methods, they're changing. And they're under development. As well. So sometimes we run up against uh, memory issues, for example, for computation to analyze our, our data sets. So that's one of, I think, the, the largest challenges at the moment is not having uh, uh, well worked out methods for analyzing the data. Now. But that's changing and it's getting better. I think it is extremely important to have students and the PIs involved in working with next generation sequence data, metagenomics data, having hands-on experience, the ability to use these methods uh, needs to be put in the hands of everyone doing it rather than just uh, used as a, a service uh, on the outside. It's important that we know how things work and have the ability to run these analyses ourselves. And that right, I think at the moment this is a, a bottleneck in training people to be able to analyze data effectively themselves. And so these workshops, I think, are critical to put those skills in the hands of people that are, actually need to be 